Hi everybody, it's Nadia Ray and I'm bringing to you a country, a countries, a countries, get ready with me. I ordered these online, um, they take about five days shipping here, which is normal for us. You only have to spend £30, 30 pound for free shipping, so I don't know whether this company gets the product off the Catrice or it's a Catrice website. I don't know. I just searched Catrice in the search engine and that's it brought up a shop that said which is Perfume Dreams and I'm reading it off my iPad sorry and basically it said that I because if, if you look at it you're like where is it? You have to scroll to get what you need everything i think apart from yeah the foundation was six pound 20 everything else was maximum of four pound the foundation now as you can see i wasn't taking it all the way down my neck i don't i don't enjoy foundations that far down i can do to sort of like here but is literally there is nine foundation colors and I got mine in warm beige which is probably why I should probably should have got the light beige I'm gonna show you me wearing it and then I'll come back at the end and say my goodbyes so I'm starting off with the Catrice Prime and Fine Aquafair Fresh Hydro Primer. It's called Fresh Up. Doesn't really give you anything about, about this product. There's no like information. I'm going to put on this Fresh It Up. It's just a white cream runny primer i think this will just freshen me up it's i don't think it'll do anything very hydrating this would be nice for oh it's nice for me <laughs> i do like it um but people with dry skin and i'm using my Ray photo revlon photo ready just for okay just gonna through all that and my pores are actually they're not gone gone but they're not bad i'm shocked the foundation is hd liquid coverage foundation and i got the shade 040 this was the lightest shade comes in the dropper form so let's see if this drop works yep definitely doesn't get a lot out though and then I'm going to beauty blend on one side of my face to see what coverage we get so it's definitely this this particular shade is too dark for my skin Unless I just look like a big dango guys so that's given me quite a nice coverage yeah now you can see but and I'm just building it where I want the extra coverage. Don't blend easily on top of itself. That's quite quite a nice dewy finish. Like I said, there was a few things that I couldn't get, or I'd forgot to get, should I say. I did get a concealer, which is the liquid camouflage tree concealer. Honest. So that's like my full coverage. Still see on my dark circle. Um, it's light coverage, but it's not grabbed onto all my pores, which is fine. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and a bit of this wet and wild and just sort of set this on dry a little bit. 
and then all over with a face brush just i haven't got didn't get powered up but this really doesn't need a lot to settle down but you can still see the slight glow through that i'm gonna put up my matte lip balm on so i forgot to get a bronzer or contour so i'm just going to take the wet and wild on this side and just contour slightly then i'm taking the revolution in the smolder and i'm just going to put that on as my bronzer then i've got these catrice glow and this is the country Catrice High Glow Mineral Photon. I can't even say it. Powder. And it looks like this. But I have put it on, and when you. It's not really highlight, I think. So, what I'm going to do is just get a different brush and see. Very powdery. And I might use this. Oh as like a buffing to give me a little bit of apart from on my forehead where I plonked it just give me that a little bit of extra glow I'm gonna have to give this another go because I have got another highlighter that I want to try first I'm going to use the Catrice brush box and I did get two colours one is going Cheer. the other one is which is like a pinky nude and this is says superwoman to be so but i think i'm going to go for the more pinky tone today very light you can build it which is what i'm doing at the minute that's very nice now I'm going to go into the 3D Glow Highlighter. Nice little brush and... Oh! Uh, I did it on the back of my hands first. Oh, that is beautiful. Now this is glittery. And... But it's stunning. I'm in love and the last one from this is the prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray so that's really my skin's so glowy so guys I'm back after doing my my brows and mascara and then I'm just going in with this ultimate matte in O10 and it's a lovely nude it really is and I've just licked my lips so that doesn't help it going on does it so guys for the Catrice this is my finished look I know colour difference it is nice everything's nice i'm glowing from the gods i'm just like so happy and for 30 pound i think i spent 33 you can't go wrong so if i do come back it will be now yes it still looks horrendous i've not actually been out but i have been busy i've been editing and washing and things like that and if it wasn't for the colour and I mean if it wasn't for the colour this is so nice and even though I do look really sweaty I'm actually not it's slightly just looking in the mirror so I can give you my honest thoughts the lipstick wore off really quickly which I did say that that's not such a good thing uh, the 
that this I've got to I might try as a highlighter at some point I'm shocked because after I finished recording I started to sweat a lot and it was to the point that I was just about to put my fan on am I in for the dewy look I don't know I don't know whether I look dewy or greasy starting off with the primer bingo fat another one another another top drawer one the foundation definitely going to get a better color in because this hasn't moved and when you sat at a computer doing work and you sit with your hands like this or you know you're touching your face it's gone a little bit on my chin but not a lot enough not enough to notice because obviously you'd notice it more because of the colour the concealer that's that's so nice I don't feel dehydrated this is this is just nice the blushes are obviously nice the highlight I like uh, for me I like the dewy setting mist but I don't know whether it's just the glowiness or not but I'm still glowing and I know you're gonna laugh at me I started the video at eight o'clock when I'd got the foundation on it was eight o'clock <laughs> it's now 3.48 and I'm going to bed so I was like I've just come but it's been on it's been on eight hours it's a work day um the only thing that has happened is because i have been uh on the computer it's slightly and i mean slightly taken it away but it's not got in, gone into fine pores it's not done anything so i'm going to draw you in extremely close like always this is obviously where i've been touching my nose but it's it's on my forehead my under eyes don't look creepy this one's got a few more wrinkles but it, nothing and like i said a little bit off my chin but it's not enough to turn around and go i would never wear this again so for me guys this catrice stuff is worth it i'm definitely going to get another one of these i might even try the other primer and get a bronzer and just see uh, what other stuff they've got on there because i didn't want to go overboard and have too much and then not know i'll let my other self talk in a minute so <laughs> see you now hopefully you enjoyed this uh testing out the new catrice stuff to me I wish I'd have got the full face now, but things are things and money is money, so I have to prioritise, like everybody else does. But I'm amazed. I really am. It all looks nice, apart from the colouring, obviously, which I keep saying. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget, guys, please hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you've tried Catrice or if you're going to try it, because you want to give it a go then let me know in the comments below um and also if there's anything that you would like to see do next i would be happy to oblige so guys i'll see you in my next video thanks a lot for watching bye